Well, hello there, people in the view of Earth. It's I, Captain the Steves, and so my blinking jellyfish on yet again. Go, jellyfish, do your thing. Swim, dilly, swim. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of a um, a video. Is it real or is it fake? But it's it's not really. Yeah, I, I'll just get into it, and you can make your own minds up as we go along, people. So here we go. Lovely jobs, and boom, pow. So on the screen right now, I'm over on the Wicker of the Pedias. Wikipedia! And I'm looking at this thing. It's called Michaelium Ombembe, is what the locals call it. And that actually means one who stops the flow of rivers. So what river is this thing in? And this is kind of like a little drawing of the said thing. This is in the Congo River Basin. Now, you're probably thinking, well, will a dinosaur really be in a river and if it wasn't a river wouldn't we have seen it by now wouldn't it have been caught etc etc but the congo river is a bit big there's the congo river it's freaking massive look at it it's freaking huge that doesn't even put it into perspective i mean that's a that's a little map of africa down there and you, you can tell in that little square there how big it is it's freaking huge okay it's it's massive okay it's it, it's massive two thousand miles massive Okay, so that gives you a rough idea about how big the river is. So, Michele and Bembe. Um, so, explorers have been out to the river basin in the, in the Congo, multiple explorers at that, and they've talked to tribes along the Congo River, and there's multiple tribes along the Congo River. And when they were talking to some of these tribes along the Congo, they were saying, well, what sort of wildlife do you see? And they showed them pictures of crocodiles, etc., etc. And the locals were describing a creature with a long neck that looked like a hippopotamus in starly so almost mammalian i'm um, looking kind of um but more sort of like a dinosaur but yeah some even said that it had scales and spikes on its neck and things so there's differences in opinion from some of these tribes but what the what was denoted most was the size of this creature the enormity of it the one that stops the flow of rivers kind of puts that into perspective and it had a long neck and that seems to be the concurrent theme amongst different tribes along the congo basin and you know, you know they didn't really communicate with one another these tribes some of them use different dialects anyway so they don't really communicate with one each other they usually war with each other they've got no reason to come up with the same Creature tales, basically, is where I'm going with this. Now, uh, yeah, so it's an oddity, really. I mean, when you look into it and you start looking into this a little bit more, it links into reptilian sort of weirdness with conspiracy theory, David Icke and stuff. And it sort of detracts from the fact that there could be a living, breathing dinosaur living inside of the Congo still. And there's also been a Disney movie where they go to the Congo and they find like this little dipper doe and he's inside a tent and all sorts of other shenanigans, a land that time forgot or something. I don't know. But there's lots of sorts of programs that kind of tongue in cheek make sort of light of the fact that there could be a dinosaur still alive in today's world but i would just like to point out at this point that we thought that the zelacanth was extinct and uh, the zelacanth has been found there's been quite a lot of zelacanths found and we only had fossil records of them we used to call them the prehistoric dinosaur fish and now we found living freaking ancestors of the zelacanth still alive today swimming about in our oceans now i know that's a bit of a stretch to a freaking diplodo or diplod Docus, whatever you want to call it, living in the um, Amazon jungles. Okay, well, imagine if we never put set foot on the Galapagos Islands. Imagine that we never came across the Galapagos Islands and we've only recently discovered them. We come across one of these kimono dragons. I mean, they're freaking huge. They're the biggest lizard on the face of the planet, other than like crocodiles or whatever. Let's say if we came across this now, we'd be like, is this a living freaking dinosaur? And, you know, Possibly, possibly they would be, get chalked up as being a freaking dinosaur. I mean, yes, it's a form of monitor and with a flicky out tongue and stuff. But even still, these things are freaking massive. I mean, look at them. Most of the videos that I can find on here, people, I can't really click on them or pr press play on them because it's of them mauling monkeys or pretty much eating deer alive and all sorts of other things. They're freaking ferocious. So, yeah, imagine if you did come across this creature inside of the Congo River. Uh, the Michaelium and Bembe. I'd imagine it's going to scare the freaking bejesus out of you. I mean, those Komodo dragons are scary enough. Now, there is a guy, though, called William J. Gibbon. 
and he's got a channel on YouTube with 5.81k subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed to Bill, it's probably a good idea that you do if you find this subject interesting. The guy has got some amazing videos here, and he's, he's actually planning expeditions to the Congo to try and find this creature. And he's got loads and loads of videos, and they're really freaking interesting to watch. I'll click on one, but I'm going to mute it. Um, because I don't want to get flagged or anything like that. And uh, yeah, it, it's really quite cool. Let's mute that. He puts a lot of effort into his videos. I'm not going to make it full screen. If you want to enjoy this video in full, the best way to do that is over on his channel. But yeah, you know, he's got his own camera crew out there. He's set up all these different trap boxes and cameras and all sorts of other stuff. And they travel looking for Mikhail and Bembe. Got some brilliant artwork that they've made and put together in this. The actual pieces that they've put together, the actual filmographies that they've done here is freaking great. So yeah, go check out um, Bill Gibbons' channel. I'll put a link inside of the video description. Now, the reason why I like watching Crypto Hunt is they tend to upload videos every time that there's going to be news around their latest expedition, which sadly, since, you know, the way the world is right now with the whole COVID and travel restrictions and everything else that's going on, it hasn't been as frequent as it once was. Now, he has put up other videos about other cryptids, such as like the Loch Ness Monster. That is a freaking awesome video, a must watch. Giant spiders, also sighted inside of the Congo area, and giant snakes and all sorts of other stuff that you're going to find on here. So if you like cryptids, but are fairly interested in the Diplodocus or Diplodocus or Brontosaurus or Michelian Mbembe, as the locals call it over in the Congo, then I think you're going to find this extremely interesting and really enjoy the videos that you've got here. So yeah, go check him out. Hit that subscribe, hit a like, say that Captain Steve sent you over. I often comment on a lot of his videos. As you're scrolling down through the comments on his videos, you'll probably see the odd one from me every now and again. So yeah, I am subscribed. I've hit the bell. I really do like this channel. And I just want to give a massive mention and a massive shout out. He also does books around um, the trips that he's already done out there. So I'd imagine there'd be new books as and when they go out again and cover more of the actual um, Congo. And hopefully they come across something more interesting. I mean, they have got sound clips on there where they've picked up sounds that they can't identify as any other creature. They've come across footprints that um, don't look like they belong to the local wildlife like hippos or um, anything else. So there's, there's evidence that they've managed to gather, but have they actually got photographic or video evidence as yet? No, no, they have not. I mean, they've got these carvings that locals done, like that one there. It looks like a, a diplo with some sort of strange fish trying to mount its back. But yeah, there's all sorts on here that you're going to enjoy. But yeah, so that's that's pretty much what I wanted to put out there. It's not so much, is it real or is it fake? This is more sort of, there is a person out there with a vested interest in actually trying to hunt down and find a living, breathing dinosaur in modern times. So if there is, you know, something out there, maybe it might get found by science one day. Maybe we might come across this inside of the mainstream news. And I really do hope it's Bill Gibbons that brings it to us. I really am rooting for this guy to find something, even if it is a giant spider. You know, it doesn't have to be this lovely, wonderful Michele Mbembe, but imagine if it is, you know? It really does set the scene for the imagination. I, I love the research he does and the actual logical reasoning behind a lot of the things. Like um, other monsters that he's done here, this Bigfoot one and other monsters. A very good video again. They're all good videos. He's put a lot of effort into his channel and I can't understand why he hasn't got more subscribers. The guy is freaking awesome. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It's not really my real or is it fake type sort of format. This is more sort of me saying this is a crypto hunter hunting for the stuff that I like to think could be real could could be real so yeah and um, yeah <laughs> that's, 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 that's it in a nutshell so i hope you enjoyed this and uh, i do plan to do more videos on maybe some of the channels that i do subscribe to and the things i watch because uh, i'm not just a gamer there's a lot of things that do hold my interest out there inside of this beautiful planet that we call earth so yeah hopefully see you again soon for enough of one of these sort of captain steve talks videos until then goodbye goodbye and goodbye again